Okay, with the final drive all removed, uh, next is the swing arm. Um, and if you have a pre, I think it's 2007 model, uh, you don't have to remove the swing arm, but they changed the drive shaft to where uh, now the splines are on the end. And you cannot, you cannot pull the drive shaft back far enough to get the donut to clear to get it off the way it is now because the drive shaft runs through the swing arm. So to get the swing arm off, uh, you got to take uh, bull shocks off. Pretty easy bolt on the bottom, bolt on the top. Uh, there are some spacers on the top and washers, so uh, uh, take note of how all that goes together. And then you have these, uh, these two bolts that hold the swing arm. Uh, there's a bolt, a bushing, and it's kind of hard to get back in there, but that nut right there. So it has a little lock tab on it. Uh, you just flatten that out. If you have a 2014 or newer model, um, and I don't know if you can really see it down in there. It's kind of hard to see. When I get it all apart, maybe uh, I can get my camera up in there. But uh, Ural uh, tack welded around that nut a little bit. So when you turn the bolt head, it holds the nut and keeps it from turning. Um, if you have a pre-2014 model, uh, you have to... Uh, this side is not that much of a problem, but the other side is a real beer uh, to get into. You got to wedge a screwdriver up in there or uh, grind down a wrench or, or something along those lines to get that off. But anyhow, you got one on each side. Um, you take these bolts out and then the swing arm will just kind of move this way. And uh, you can't get it all the way off because it's on the... Uh, the way it is, it's it's on the outside of this frame, but it does slide back far enough to where uh, you can clear that donut, get it out of there, and then you can uh, pull the gearbox back. Okay, I got the swing arm removed, as you can see, well, slid back, um, so it's out of the way. I got the, uh, I don't know if you can kind of see it in there, I got the drive shaft on the other side of that brake line. I got the drive shaft um, disengaged from the from the donut and uh, I don't know if you can see it I'll try to get in there but there's that inside bushing right there if I get some light on it sorry because I'm trying to hold it but do you see how it's kind of uh, how the frame is kind of recessed around that nut and that's supposed to keep that nut from turning because it sits inside that recess um, and uh, and I think it was 2014 uh, that they did that on so it makes the swing arm removal a lot easier uh, if you don't have that it's a pain but uh, uh, you can do it um, and those those nuts are actually like bushing well they're threaded but they're bushings as well because they slide they slide inside the frame tube um, I'm not going to take them out so uh, and then if you want to see the bolt um, sorry about that that's the bolt uh, for the uh, uh, swing arm and the little lock tab that goes on there uh, might be handy to have a few extras of those around if you gotta do this often because if you damage it you gotta put a new one on another uh, note that when you re reassemble it uh, make sure you put anti-seize on those threads on that swing arm it'll make it a lot easier uh, the next time you have to remove it